These numbers we can all get behind, right? And after a break from the heat and humidity that we've been dealing with for what has felt like the last two months at least. And we have temperatures tonight that drop back down into the 50s. Nice comfy air mass in place. Light winds out of the east at about five miles per hour through the course of the overnight. Still have some milkiness up there in the sky, which again is the result of some of that wildfire smoke. 77 degrees northwest winds at seven miles per hour. And that is the change right there. Dew point and humidity much lower than previous days. We have temps stacked up around 70 in Decor and Algona, mid 70s from Ames down through Des Moines and into Sheridan and Lamoni. Uh, yeah, it's a really pleasant afternoon and uh, the next weather system that we have anywhere close to us is developing out across the front range and there are severe thunderstorm watches up there with developing thunderstorms out across the Rockies. So our high temperatures will be going up in the coming days. We will we'll, we will have some days uh, around 80, but several days in the 70s, which is quite remarkable. Uh, if you look at the last 30 days, this is what's concerning. While we like to get outside and enjoy nice dry weather, we are seeing about half or less of what we would typically see when it comes to rainfall over the last 30 days. And if you take that into account and the map that James showed you, which is again, here's another image of it, the drought monitor across the state, we officially have moderate drought conditions in the immediate metro area, but severe drought conditions and extreme drought conditions are pretty close by, even as close as Ottumwa and then out towards the Missouri River Valley. And if we don't get a lot of rain, that area of drought will continue to worsen. Some good news to, with our for our neighbors out across eastern Nebraska. We are expecting a healthy round of rain over the next five days, but locally a lot of that steady substantial rain is missing uh, central Iowa. And we said typically we look at trends uh, in our weather models to see how a forecast is going to adjust one way or another. And this one keeps adjusting farther and farther and farther south, meaning last night if you're watching Kansas City would get in on some of that rain. Now it's down towards uh, the Arklatex region. So not good news when it comes to prospects for beneficial rain. Temps tonight ranging from the upper 40s in northeast Iowa to the 50s elsewhere. Temperatures tomorrow will be into the 60s and 70s. Not a ton of sunshine, not a ton of rain either. Just a few scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the day. Your eight day forecast shows that temps do warm back up. This is just a temporary break. A couple of days spent in the 70s before we see the rebound of 80s and summertime like warmth and humidity. After we get past Saturday, next solid chance for showers and thunderstorms not until next Thursday, James.